The insane Samsung S23 Ultra Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is the next generation of smartphone processors. It is twice as fast as the current Snapdragon 8 and is manufactured on the 7 nanometer process. The processor is also said to be more power efficient than its predecessor. Finally, here's the Samsung S23 Ultra Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, the biggest upgrade ever. The chipset is expected to compete with the likes of Google's Tensor G3 and Apple's A17 Bionic in the latter half of 2023. Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 was unveiled at the Snapdragon Summit on November 15. Notably, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is expected to be used in the majority of high-end Android phones, including the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. In any case, here's everything you need to know. Samsung S23 Ultra Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 Specifications it has been a few years since the introduction of Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 series mobile processors, and the company is finally ready to unveil its replacement, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which has the company's Cryo Central Processing Unit. The Cryo Central Processing Unit is an octa-core CPU running at 2.84 GHz. The new Cryo CPU offers performance advantages of up to 35% and efficiency gains of up to 40% when compared to the previous generation. <laughs> the main processor is, unsurprisingly, a Cortex G3 core running at 3.2 GHz. The remains of the chip is just as unexpected as a new OnePlus 4 Plus 3 configuration. Qualcomm calls it an AI marvel that defines a new premium standard for connecting computing. Qualcomm's top-tier Snapdragon SoCs take advantage of this high-performance processor called Cryo. It is a 64-bit processor that works with LPDDR4X RAM and uses the ARM Cortex A73 architecture as its foundation. Qualcomm's Quick Charge 4.0 Plus is supported by the Cryo CPU. Does this mean the Samsung S23 series will come with an upgraded battery performance? If rumors are true, we're looking at a 10% increase in battery life with Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. You will learn more in the coming minutes. While the chip CPU is where most of the action unfolds, the Adreno GPU is where the real fun begins when it comes to gaming. This time around, the Qualcomm Snapdragon's Adreno GPU brings considerable improvements, such as a 25% increase in overall graphical performance and a reduction in battery consumption of up to 45%. Oh my god! Wow! In addition, it improves the Snapdragon platform with hardware accelerated ray tracing. This GPU also features OpenGL ES3.2 and Vulkan 1.3 capabilities, making it the first of its kind. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 allows for mobile devices to support displays with a QHD Plus resolution at up to 144Hz and a 4K display at up to 60Hz. With Qualcomm's AV1 video decoding, you can watch streams in up to 8K resolution at 60 frames per second with HDR. As we look forward to more innovations and upgrades to upcoming smartphones, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more updates on our upcoming videos. Snapdragon S23 Ultra Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 Connectivity The new Snapdragon X70 chip in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 line enables lightning-fast data transfers over the internet. The Samsung S23 Ultra will benefit greatly from this feature. As was to be expected, Qualcomm made a few tweaks to the 8 Gen 2's built-in 5G to improve its performance on both the MM Wave and Sub-6 bandwidths. Similar to its forerunner, it is capable of 10 GB per second downlink and 3.5 GB per second uplink at full capacity. Wi-Fi 7.0 support is the most notable improvements. Though the finalized Wi-Fi 7 standard has not yet been implemented, the new FastConnect 7800 technology has been agreed upon for local networking. Theoretically, 8 Gen 2 smartphones can achieve transmission rates of up to 5.8 GB per second thanks to Wi-Fi 7 which adds support for the 6 GHz band in addition to the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. Not that you'll need it till Wi-Fi 7 routers become more popular, but at least your phone will be ready for the future. The Samsung Galaxy S23's Battery Life Honestly, the ability to extend a smartphone's battery life is much desired by the market, and so far, that seems to be Samsung's target, to monopolize the market. Smartphones from Samsung haven't excelled in battery life, but it looks like the company aims to change that with the new Galaxy S23 series in an effort to improve sales gradually. Let's assume that the next Samsung Galaxy S23 is better battery life than the Samsung Galaxy S22 had this year. Samsung is making headway with a new battery technology that stacks the cell components in layers as opposed to the more traditional method of wrapping them. 
The same principle applies to the rechargeable batteries used in electric vehicles. The battery life of Samsung's Galaxy S23 series, if equipped with Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, might be increased by 10%. Nice. Yet the S23 is rumored to come with all the bells and whistles of Samsung's S22. Could it be true? As we await the Samsung S23, let's anticipate enhancements to the user experience as Samsung does with its flagship smartphones. You'll learn more in the coming minutes. Design of the S23 There's a good likelihood that the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra will share a lot of visual similarities with the S22. According to a recent rumor, the smartphone will measure 6.43 by 3.07 by 0.35 inches, making it somewhat larger than the Galaxy S22 Ultra, which measures 6.42 by 3.06 by 0.35 inches. Even if the camera's module's expansion and the phone's overall size are often blamed on a new camera tip, this is not the case. Samsung may make the Galaxy S23's bezels wider, though you didn't focus too much on that rumor. We don't know why the bezel thickness would increase, but it's something to keep an eye on as the phone's release date. Major Android manufacturers will be adopting the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, OnePlus, Oppo, Sony, and Xiaomi are a few of them. Samsung doesn't seem to be left out either. The Galaxy S23 series when released is likely to set the bar for the smartphone market as there has been a lot of expectations around it. If you doubt, watch our next video, Samsung S23 Ultra, a new record, 5G first look, camera and incredible features for updates on Samsung's yet to release smartphone. We hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.